Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In power series, let us discuss about convergence test. For that, we will discuss first about a theorem on convergence. For a given power series, sigma n equal 0 to infinity cn into x minus a power n there are only three possibilities there are only three possibilities First one, the series converges when only when x equal to a. That means if you substitute x equal to a in this series, the series converge. Second one, the series converge the series converges for all x There are, there is a positive number, there is a positive number R such that the series converge Converges if absolute value of x minus a is lesser than r and diverges diverges if x minus a is greater than r here two possibilities are there first one the series converge if modulus of x minus a is lesser than r for all such values the series converge if other than if modulus of x minus a is greater than r it diverges now let us do an example to understand convergent theorem Here, an example for what value for what value of X for what value of X is the series Sigma n equal 0 to infinity n factorial into x power n convergent. Let us do ratio test. Ratio test means you had to expand the series and you had to find the ratio of the ratio of one term and its previous step. Now limit n tends infinity of a n plus 1 over a n. That means a n plus 1 is a particular term and 
and a n is that previous term of that particular term is equal limit n tends infinity here that uh, particular term is here our series is our series is n equal 0 to infinity n factorial x power n for that n plus 1 a n plus 1 is n plus 1 factorial x power n plus 1 here this over n factorial x power n which is equal here limit n tends infinity n plus 1 factorial can be written as n plus 1 into n factorial x power n plus 1 over n factorial x power n this x power n into x that means x power n plus 1 can be written as x power n and multiplied with x so this cut this also cut so which is given limit n tends infinity of absolute value of x if you apply n is n plus 1 into x if you apply infinity it gives infinity x is infinity n plus 1 into x is also infinity from that by ratio test we can say if we let a n as you by the ratio test the series diverge the series diverge diverges when x is not equal to 0 thus the given series converge series converge only only when x equals 0 that means the in the ratio test if x equal to 0 this series converges one more example for what values of x does the series sigma n equal to 1 to infinity x minus 5 power n by n converge let a n nth term of the series is x minus 5 by n then ratio test a n plus 1 over a n gives x minus 5 power n plus 1 over n plus 1 into n over this is a n is x 
x minus 5 whole power n plus 1 over n plus 1 division of x minus 5 power n over n. That is reciprocal multiplication here x minus 5 power n. By simplifying, we'll get one over one plus one over n into x minus y, which gives absolute value of x minus y as n tends infinity by ratio test by ratio test the given series absolutely convergent the given series is absolutely convergent convergent when modulus of x minus y is lesser than 1 and divergent when modulus x minus y is greater than 1. Therefore, we can write the limits x minus y lesser than 1 gives both sides minus 1 x minus y is lesser than positive 1 which further gives 4 because minus 5 on the side is plus 5 minus 1 is 4 and x lesser than 6 that means this minus 5 other side is 1 plus 5, this minus 5 other side is plus 5 minus 1. Therefore, the series converges, the series converges for plus or equal to x lesser than 6. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.